This year is going to bring a bit of change and it's change that I'm pretty excited about, but I think I'm progressing. I just feel like it's weird to be going through this while wanting to be in the public eye. Hey guys, so it's been a while since I've had this kind of setup and I thought I would get ready with you. I thought I would just chat. This is the e.l.f. Um, Halo Glow and I do like it, but I think the shade that I like thought I was is just a bit light. So my channel has been in limbo because I just don't have the income to like buy makeup and do hauls and those kinds of things. So I've been trying to pivot my channel to something that's sustainable for me and something that just speaks to what I just like, which is fantasy, like in my last video. And last year was the most like restful year. <laughs> that I've had. It was nice, but I also always feel this call to create content and that is kind of where I like struggle. <laughs> Creating content just feels so foreign to me right now and it's just very sad. This is the um, L'Oreal Age Perfect Serum Foundation. I'm wearing foundation for the first time in a while, so hopefully this goes okay. I'm <laughs> just I don't know what God's, what's gone in me. I just want to see what this is like. So I've been daydreaming actually about just starting a whole entire new YouTube channel and it kind of makes me sad because I have, you know, viewers like you guys that are watching this right now probably that enjoy my content and probably just like me, like when I watch people, it doesn't matter sometimes what they upload. I just like them. So that's why it feels weird to just kind of pivot a channel and at the same time it's what I'm called to do and I just want to be authentic to where I am in my life and what I'm capable of. When I say capable of, it really just means like I can't keep up with beauty YouTubers. I just really don't even want to do that. I like to practice like sustainability and not having too many things, but at the same time, I love doing like sewing projects. So I end up hoarding a lot of fabric and that has been like one of my hobbies that I've connected with over the past year and I really like it. It's quite fun using a sponge. I'm also trying to not contour my face as much because it's just, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't really need it. I feel like I just do it out of habit. So I've gotten in touch with my hobbies over the past year, which is really great. And now I just feel like I don't have time, but I want my hobbies to be my content. I want to like talk about clothes, which I did talk about clothes in the past, but it was more of like, this is what I bought. Um, type thing, just regular stuff. I really want to embrace like what I like, which is fantasy stuff, like I said in my last video, and I'm trying to just come into myself at the age of almost 33. I am just constantly trying to figure out what is next, which is kind of exhausting, but at the same time, like I know I'll get there, so I felt just stagnant everywhere, but I will say I have people that are inspiring me and um, you know, keep me accountable. Like I can't just keep talking about it and not do it. And I have a friend in my life who has started a YouTube channel and it's fun having someone else in my life that's doing it because for a long time it was just me and it is really isolating, like, it's just weird to be the only person that, like, wants to be a part of social media and be online and it just all feels so serious but also like a joke, so I just kind of took a step back to live my life offline and it was fun, but I just, I like sharing and I like talking, I like using my voice and I just feel like I just need to get comfortable with doing that. Last year I had an experience where I saw myself 
completely abandoning who I am because of who I was around and it was like mortifying and I had to really learn to love myself which I'm still you know in the trenches of trying to do that and there's a lot of imposter syndrome when it comes to this topic because like I don't want to come on here and I'm still going through all of this but I think I'm progressing I just feel like it's weird to be going through this while wanting to be in the public eye which a lot of people do and you know that is a choice I've made a video being like don't do it it's a lot I just think I needed to address it which is why I'm making this video I just didn't want to come on here and like lie it's just it just not it doesn't feel right to me so at the end of the day my channel is my space and I've always wanted to have fun and just explore things and share things that I love and lately it honestly hasn't been like trying a bunch of new makeup being in a place of trying to be creative without spending too much money is a strange place because a lot of hobbies include spending money it can't be helped so I just want oh my god there's a spot that I did blend away oh my god so this place of limbo, not spending too much money, trying to be creative, this is where I'm at and that is what I have to bring to the table. So I want to challenge myself and really work on my sewing skills and crafting skills and share that with you guys. Like I'm dreaming of a dress form, I don't know if I'll ever get one, but maybe one day, they're very expensive. And for all I know, there are some of you that also enjoy sewing. I think that kind of content is very fun because you're kind of like watching a home improvement show or like any type of content where you're making things I think is so relaxing, especially if there is an end result that works out, which is always what I'm try striving for. And it also helps you see things that you could do or want to try or I don't know, just just enjoy seeing the process. I like that stuff. I used to watch the show How It's Made, Unwrapped. We watched the candy. That was my jam. So I think that's why I, you know, I feel like I'm gonna end up in this realm. I'm literally finding makeup palettes that I own that I forgot about. I haven't used that palette in like two months. Another reason I think I have to pivot to sewing is because I have so much stuff and while I love thrifting, um, I can't fall into a trap of thrifting and then getting things that don't even fit me and then I end up not wearing them. So yeah, I have to like do something with all the stuff that I currently own. So I thought that that would be like fun because it's not really a declutter. I feel like those videos are satisfying, but it's, um, it's also not like sustainable because you just keep getting rid of stuff and then you keep buying stuff so I don't know about that anymore right now I'm in this stage where I'm just not seeing a lot of people and that's completely fine where my friends and I are at like I have friends that have kids so it's a um it's a difficult place to navigate because I don't have kids so it feels like I'm just alone a lot I mean like you know with my husband whatever but like not seeing people and not going out and doing things all the time like we're adulting and we are seeing people offline so it's not like i go to these cool places and like do social media and post all these cool things it's just not where my life is at it's very i'd say like normal <laughs> which is a lot of people so it's just funny to be like saying this I feel like I've been living in this little safety bubble, which um, has been healing, but at the same time, I'm not doing YouTube, so there's just a lot of isolation happening. So I've been trying to just muster up the courage, talk, get online, share whatever, because with TikTok, it's like everyone's doing it, and that's definitely helpful, but at the same time, it's like everyone's doing it. You don't need to do it. It's just like this weird thing that goes on in my head. This year is going to bring 
a bit of change and it's change that I'm pretty excited about. This year we plan on moving out of this house. We lived here for, it'll be two years. I oh, know it's already two years. And this space this year is going to bring a bit of change and it's change that I'm pretty excited about. While I am grateful for it, it's a lot. It's a big space and I feel like I am not used to being in a big space. I think I've mentioned this before, but I am not thriving, okay? I may have my own room, my own studio, but I feel like, I don't know, it's just not, not my vibe. I feel like the more space that I have, the more it just turns into a mess and it's hard for me to keep up with and I know this is a thing for people. Um, so that I am excited to let go of, but I'm also just dreading this whole um, finding a place because it is slim pickings out here, people. The prices are just insane because people have moved up from the city and inflation and um, is it really a lot of inflation? I don't know, really, I'm just making stuff up, but yeah it's it's hard <laughs> really quickly this mascara this tart tubing mascara i hate it <laughs> it's it's not good <laughs> oh my god where's my eyelash color i'm gonna put on more blush this is like a gel one it's kind of more pink i uh, cut my own hair now which is quite convenient. I actually started doing it because I didn't want to pay for a haircut. <laughs> it's layered. To be honest with you, I hardly wear my hair down. I like don't know how to function with it down. So yeah, that's my life now. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm still going to wear it down. Maybe behind my ear. Let's do a little stain situation with the lips. I also have this new e.l.f. product that maybe I'll use. It's like the square I'm not used to seeing myself with any like red or color I should probably put that on before the lip balm but it's it's fine <laughs> so the makeup I did is kind of Douyin inspired but not quite because I can't really do it properly with my eyes I just look a little like weird there's no other way to say it but I really love sparkly things and you know the eyes are the focus not really the complexion um, I'm gonna wrap it up thank you for watching I am excited to just see where this year takes me and I hope you guys will join I am not going to start a new YouTube channel as much as I really want to I just feel like I will be like letting myself down if I decide to run away from this channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you're doing well. I hope you have something fun coming up and take care of yourselves. Rest. It's very important. Be kind to yourself and you're worthy of respect and love and yeah, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.